You see, my thing is, how is that you have the support of America, the greatest military force that this planet has ever seen? Who have? Because you read. Now I want to know. Let's let's get real. This is this is called real conversations. Let's get mm. real. Mm. I'm just going to look at the throw stuff out there. Did America really want the Afghan army to be in the best possible position to um, fend for themselves and fight on their feet? Because see, I draw parallels with with Israel. Uh, did America give the Afghan army the same kind of support that they've given Israel? Because my thing is, I cannot understand how you spent over ninety billion. You have given them all the reconnaissance and so forth, and the response is, well, they don't know how to use your weapons. Well, they don't know how to use your methods and so forth. You've been here for like over a decade. You've been here for well over it. So you've seen in over a decade. Okay, let's say I'm learning a new language or so forth. It's taking me a while. Let's say I'm even learning what quantum physics. It's going to take me a while. Red. If I'm learning quantum physics every day for five, six, seven years, by the sixth, seventh year, I'll, 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 I can say what's up to Einstein. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can say what's up to Einstein. If I've been learning it every day for seven, eight years. But, so my thing is that during all this time, all this freaking time, the moments you leave, these guys fall within seconds. Yeah, within no, seconds. It, 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 it's because, like, again, they, because they weren't... Okay, look, teaching somebody how to shoot a gun doesn't mean he's ready for war. Teaching somebody how, how how to fight doesn't mean he's ready for war. Like, it's just, there's a lot of factors that come into it. Like, again, like I said... What's the again, difference between them and the Israelis? Well, the, the th difference is, is, like, look, when it comes to when it comes to Israel, that's more of an occupation. Like, they're, they're more disputing over territories that's no, no, inhabited. No, 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 no. What's, what's the difference between the tutorship mm -hmm. that the Americans have given Israel and the tutorship that they've because given they, the Afghans? They, they, they didn't give tutorship. Like, it's like we, we, America aids Israel in building Israel. America like aids Israel in 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 like in, into going in and they back them into taking over homes and, and land and, and like like slowly and they help them develop an army and their own standing army and their own like air force and their own and they made Israel the fourth biggest army on the planet. Like America did that. With Afghanistan, they didn't do that. Afghanistan, first of all, they 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 just they, they were just present there. They were just taking over. Like they, they were, there's pictures of American troops standing outside guarding opiate uh, opiate fields. Like America didn't do for Afghanistan what it did for Israel. And first of all, and aside from that, America has been aiding Israel for the better part of like for almost a hundred years at this point. They've been sending them aid every single year, and they continue to send them aid every single year. They they don't exist within Israel. And that they, they just keep sending them money, they keep sending them weapons, they send them, they send them the Iron Dome protection, they sent them so much technology. They didn't do the same for Afghanistan. Like what like you like again and also it's, don't forget like the difference between Israel and in 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 in, in uh, Afghanistan is what Israel is doing is they're occupying cities and in, in towns where they go in and they take them over like that, right? Whereas in Afghanistan, you're talking about mountains, you're talking about a region where it's 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 not like it's not very easy land to really take over. These people just retreated to the mountains. That's why they're very hard to like to destroy. America, the only the only they, they were they they weren't giving them any troop support or any like heavy military support in, in that aspect. They were just giving them like logistics and like air force and of, of course they're like they had the training facilities and the weapons and all that stuff. But once you take that stuff away from them, these troops that are used to fighting a certain type of warfare now lose their biggest asset, right? And and now Taliban can just go if they go and take in a military base, all no, the weapons red, that America red, left red, behind red, is there. Hold, hold on, red, hold on. Mm -hmm. This Afghan army, they knew because again, look, I'm not judging anyone and everything. Yeah. So I'm just I'm just asking questions here because yeah, this is on, an open dialogue. They knew that America, they're not going to be here for forever. Mm -hmm. They knew that eventually. They're going to have to leave. So you must have that knowledge. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. This wasn't a case where, hey, we're at boom. Well, we're gone. It's like, okay, we are going in five months now. Okay? Five months. Okay, five months. Okay, remember five yeah. months. We're not, we're not leaving tomorrow. Five months. Okay. Four months. Okay. Three. So you know that, okay. What we still have here, but these guys are eventually going to leave. So let's get on our minds that by after five months, we're going to have to now stand on our feet. But what I've not been reading and seeing is there are guys that were like, no, no matter what, we'll never be able to stand on our feet. 
the guys who were, were already defecting to the Taliban and so forth um, before the Amer Americans withdrew the army. So it wasn't also as if we're, that if you guys aren't here, we're going to fold. <laughs> yeah. We're going to give in. They, so, uh, so, so, so my thing really is that, look, we can talk about how America, UK being messed everything up is. How do you now blame, again, I'm not throwing questions at there. How do you now blame America? Okay, no, what could America now do if it's a case of where no matter what we do, no matter how much we train and, and, and so forth, when we leave, do nothing. This is going to happen. Don't intervene. That's the key. Like that's what I'm saying. Is, like, oh, just okay, don't okay. intervene because like well, in Vietnam no, 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 the no, same no. thing. But, but red, they've already intervened. So we're already here now. It's already happened. You let it so, play out. You let it play out. You just let you let the people sort it amongst themselves. Even if the Afghan army falls, that means that army was not strong enough and it did not have the guard. It did not garner the support. And it's unfortunate, but you just let everything play out on its own like the the u.s did the same thing in vietnam they go in they'll support a certain faction then once they're done they got what they wanted they'll leave they'll leave and then that faction falls immediately because that faction does not have the people on its side the, the people the, the the men the the the, the women the, the, the support is not on their side that's why that faction falls out that's why it's weak you sort of have to let things they teach always play out on their own there's always going to be civil war there's going to be war there's going to be these kind of issues but like when you want to go you go in if you want to aid, you aid in politically, right? By, by through speech, you don't go in and give more weapons because you know what the U.S. just did right now. You know what the U.S. just did right now? It just gave the the, the Taliban an arsenal. They gave them weapons. They gave them military bases. They gave them equipment. That's all they did. All the, the cars, the planes that the U.S. left behind. Who do you think oh, is going to take all that stuff over? Now the Taliban is stronger than it was. 20 years ago, had they just left it 20 years ago, Afghanistan probably could have been able to sort it all out by itself, just through through time. And wait, through wait, just wait, like wait. Oh, you know, so, right. oh. so this all the stuff you've given the Afghan army. It's now the since Taliban. they've now folded since the Taliban. Oh, and now guess God. what? It's, it's, now the Taliban. Now the Taliban are, are stronger before the U.S. involved. Like the U.S. involved to beat these guys, they made them like like they made them stronger because. Look, we know this. Generation after generation, they're always more liberal than their parents, right? Like every everybody that when you're born, like your parents have a certain amount of way, way of thinking. You're always like, yeah, I agree with my parents to an extent at the core, but I do believe that they're a bit hard like that, and we grow, right? So, well, who are we to say that twenty years ago? Let's say, for example, had let's say the Taliban took over in the 1990s and they ran Afghanistan, and then slowly their kids grew up and they were a bit more liberal. And then their other kids became a little bit more liberal. And then over time, like they sort of phase out that way of thinking and they grow from it. You know what I mean? They, 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 they as a civilization, they grow. They, they realize that, okay, this is not good for us. We, they start developing more. They start getting better and better. And that, that tends to happen. That's why you see a lot of countries mostly nowadays around the world are more secular. Like, especially ones that didn't that weren't war torn. If a country is war torn, then yes, they're going to be more conservative because they're just trying to survive. So they tend to stick together, and they they, they they because their lives are so cheap and easily like taken away. Um, they 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 have to believe in a higher power to, that that's going to come and sa save them. That's going to bring them justice, right? So this is what what's happening is when you come and interfere, you bring imbalance to the situation. You don't solve it. You don't know what the actual just is. You're just believing that, okay, we're going to stand with this faction automatically because they're against this faction. But that faction that you're standing with is not even strong. It doesn't have no proper foundation. There's no history behind it. There's no core people. There's no nothing that's galvanizing them together. You're you're intervening in a problem, trying to solve it in a way that would, like you're, you're giving them an answer that doesn't fit the question, right? People have to grow on their own. That's why Western intervention in these smaller nations is never good. It always hurts them. All they, did, all the U.S. did in the past twenty years, aside from kill their own kids, waste their own tax dollars, and put a lot of Afghani lives at risk, and, and, and put Afghanistan through it, like uh, put the Afghani people through a huge diaspora worldwide, um, is just hinder their progress for twenty years. No, because see, my thing is that they actually set them back. Yeah, they yeah. set them back now. No, because has America improved any of these countries that they've? come to occupy no the only country that's improved is israel and in that scenario they let israel do their own thing they just send them financial support and they back them politically which is exactly what i'm saying if you want to help a nation you don't help a nation by injecting it 
with more weapons and, and pushing for more fighting. You help a nation by providing it with financial aid to really build infrastructure and by politically supporting it in, in, in the political world and, and, to get, to get it, trade, to get to, to, to make the country sell, the economy up and running. I think because the thing, the thing that America has to realize is, again, you should have sort of realized this through Vietnam and so forth. What you have to realize is maybe it's a sense of arrogance and so forth is you cannot enforce your own values and way of life in a different country. 